Hello, everybody. And welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber. Ten minutes at a time. It's the only place right here in the shop where you can get ten minutes of drama-free, action-packed B1 bomber building excitement on a Saturday morning. Oh yeah, this is an extra, extra early episode. We're making it this early because I can't wait to see this thing. Got all my wood glued in it last night. I didn't make a video because, you know, I, I glued one piece in and let it set up. You know, that only took two minutes. Glued another piece in, let it set up. But I got it ready to go. And we're going to pop this bad boy right out the mold right here on live TV on Bobo Vision. Hey guys, I want to show you something else. Show you when I, after I'm done here, I've been collecting parts for uh, the hydraulic set for the main gear. But a lot of people, a lot of people ask me why I want to use hydraulics. You know why mess with hydraulics? Because of the fact I have so many air cylinders, and the retract air cylinders are huge. And uh, man, it would just take. I'd have to fill half that fuselage with air tanks. You know, and it's just I can make everything work out with hydraulic. So why mess with any air? You know what I mean? It charge a couple extra batteries. I don't have so many batteries in this thing. Anyway, a couple more ain't gonna hurt. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna have a whole bank of batteries in this thing. So what's a couple more, you know? Ain't no big deal. I just don't really want to mess with air. You know, if I got half the system working on hydraulic and half air, you know, it's just, I'd rather just switch it all to hydraulic. It's simple enough, you know, I think people are just amazed at how simple a hydraulic system really is, you know. And I don't know why no one's ever done it for a model. Well, I guess they have, but not very many people, especially here in the States. lip on the on the inside that just turned out awesome didn't it nice rigid that cloth amount was perfect on it you know that came out awesome awesome I'm really happy with that okay now where is my Got my mold removing device. <laughs> I ain't gonna give it up, people. I ain't gonna give it up. I love this thing. I think they ought to change the name of it. From chisel to mold removing device. Came off so easy. 
that baby, look at that. across the garage. Wow. Look at that, people. Look at that. Ha. Where did you see it? Right here, live on YouTube. You know, we got a, we got a bunch of new subscribers, people. So I think I, I really, you know, you old timers know what I've been talking about all this time, but these new guys are lost. So I think when I get to that other, my elevator, I'm going to slow down a bit and kind of explain what I'm doing a little bit better. We got a lot of new guys and we want to welcome, welcome y'all to the shop. Everybody's welcome. Everybody. Hey, I got one little air bubble right there. Well, one little one. That ain't bad. Look at that. Look at that. That is one nice unit. That seam just needs sanded a little. I bet it ain't gonna need no filler. think of my vertical stab see you guys can do this just like I did it got my nice panel lines in there can you guys see them that just came out awesome 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 now I'm done with all that stuff and get all that vertical stab on out of here get it out the way Okay, now, I was going to show you guys the parts I've been collecting from my hydraulic system for my main gear. And uh, I had to order the valve, but it's in. Okay, I just need to go pick it up. Can't go pick it up till Monday. I'm going to use this for my tank, my oil reservoir. This is one of them nice... Uh, it's like a fuel tank, but it's a nice, seals up good. I like these tanks. And for the pump, I'm just using one of these SIG gas passers. This pump will pump anything. Uh, gasoline, glow, fuel, kerosene, water. This pump will pump anything. I don't know if... These are some pumping dudes too, man. You hook these up to 12 volts and, uh, man, they'll shoot a stream of fuel. 10 foot. <laughs> But they're going to work real nice. And, uh, <coughs> but I'll have my valve Monday. And, uh, it's cool. It actually has a solenoid on it, so I won't need a servo to operate it. And, uh, it's going to work out awesome. Oh, there goes the Bobo timer. We all know what that means. So kick back and grab your cup of coffee and watch this video and thanks for tuning in to Bobo Vision and we'll be back today with some videos. You guys want to watch us put that F-16 together? Up, down, up, let me know. But until then, we'll see you back at the shop. Same Bob time, same Bob station. This is a drama